In this demo, we're going to cover multiple languages and translation. We're going to learn how to add a language and put in some ad hoc translation, and then export and import translation files. We're going to see all of that on the device itself to see how it looks like. Let's go to a demo survey. We have a demo survey called Translation Demo, and we have three questions. First question is, what is your name? The second question is, what's your gender? And the third question is, what's your age? Now we want to translate this survey and add an additional language, which is Dutch, to the survey. To do that, we simply go to the Languages drop-down box right here and click on Add New Language. From the drop-down box, we're going to select Dutch. If your language doesn't show up, you can simply enter a language name and select a different language. It will be the same. Let's click on OK. What we've now done is added a new overlay of another language. So now we have our default language, which we entered the original survey in, in our case it's English, and then our other language, which, which is Dutch. We can add more languages if, you, if we need to run multiple languages instead of just two. When we add a language, like we just did, nothing actually changes. But what does change is our ability to now translate the survey into a different language. So if we select the first question and stand on our default language, the text is what is your name? Let's switch to the Dutch language and now override this text with the Dutch translation. What is jouw naam? Now we have two sets of question text. If we switch to the default language, we see what is your name. But if we switch to Dutch, we see the newly entered text. What, what is jouw naam? Let's save the survey and see what it looks like on a real device. I'm using the Bluestack Android emulator to simulate a real tablet. I'm going to log in as Jim. Let's pull up the translation demo and run a new instance. Now the survey starts in the default language. You can change the default language as well and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But let's switch languages. To do that, you can click on the menu languages and switch to Dutch. And now the text changes to what is your name? We can switch it back to the default language. What is your name? Doing ad hoc translations for each of the questions and answers can be a time consuming process. Many organizations use translating or translations agencies and to work with them we have a special feature allowing you to export and import translation files. Let's see what it looks like. To export all the text of the survey at once to a translation file, we click on the Language menu option and select Export Texts. We select the language that we wish to translate and provide a file name. Click on export. The export file follows a very simple format. You have the original text column and the translated text column. Whenever you want to translate a text, simply enter the text instead of the original text on the translated text column. Do not replace the original text, only add text to the translated text column. As you can see, the text that we're seeing here are much more than the actual three questions of the survey. The reason for that is that you can translate much more than just the question text. You can actually go ahead and translate almost everything or every message and every button label that there is in the survey. Whatever text you're not translating will stay in the original language. Let's scroll down and find out the text of our questions. If you're using scales, your answer scales 
will be will be followed after the actual survey texts and next the actual survey questions. Here you can see the question number one. What is your name? It's already translated to what what is your name that we did before. Let's translate the what is your gender question. I'm going to enter what is your geslacht. Next, we're going to translate male and female. Man, Frau. Finally, we're going to translate the what is your age question and the answers. And we're going to save this file. And now we can simply import this translation file and get the entire survey translated at once. We're going to put in the XLS, we're going to click on load, the imported language is Dutch, click on import, the import process finished successfully, we're going to close. You can already see that the question text has been um, translated along with the answers. Let's save this survey and view it on a device. Going to sync the surveys. And rerun the translation demo. So we start off with what is your name? Let's put in David. And let's switch the language during the survey. What is your gender? We're going to click on settings, languages, select Dutch, and immediately it translated to Dutch. What is your geslacht? Man. What is your life? 25 to 40. Finally, let's see how we can change the default language if, you, if we need to. Let's click on the languages and edit languages menu option. We can rename the languages if we want to. And we can also say that Dutch is the actual startup language instead of the default. Click on OK and save the survey and view it on the device. And this time, when I click on Run, you can see that Dutch comes up with the default and startup language. You can also access the language manager through a script code to change languages and select the default languages, but more on that in the logic and survey um, coding videos series.